Hi guys, it's Bendix here. Today we are going to go through a tutorial of the speed run of the game. So it's gonna be pretty rambly, but I'm just basically gonna play through the game and explain at the same time. First things we're going to do is go to settings, to video settings, and put our FPS to 30. Uh, it's quite important for a couple of tricks or Basically, it will help you a lot on those tricks. So, I definitely recommend a lower FPS. Basically, 30 is the lowest you can get, so that's why we're going with it. Another thing is display timer, obviously, so you can see the timer for the whole time when running the game. Right. Uh, then something else I would recommend is putting the music down because you are going to go through the all the scroll part so many times and it's gonna get annoying but I myself enjoy having sound effects that's pretty minimal and just personal preference uh, for controls I just run with the regular controls as I play with the Xbox Xbox control uh, nothing special there I recommend playing with the controller, at least I myself find it much easier than mouse and keyboard even though I usually play with them. Right, let's get going with it. So the first thing you want to do is spam basically any buttons. Uh, I'm pressing A and X on Xbox controller to skip through the cutscene as fast as possible. Uh, it'll basically they always 30 seconds as you can see from the time on top of the screen so yeah just spam those buttons and get through the guard scene and yeah then you're ready ready to start running the game itself <coughs> so first thing you want to do here is bunny hopping it's basically the hardest trick in the game so it might take you some time and if you just want to try a casual speed run I definitely would not recommend trying to learn this by ear. So <coughs> how the trick works, you press dash and right at the end of your dash you run. I mean jump. So yeah, I don't even get it most of the time. Uh, if you fail, what you can do uh, for practicing you can do this as much as you want, but in a run you can do once twice put just two times down load last save point and then go again and what's important is that you don't press any other movement buttons like the whole time when doing this so yeah i'm gonna keep uh, try a couple of times without speaking so i can maybe get it and as you can see i'm just jumping not pressing any movement buttons not right or left just jump and yeah that way basically if you time your jumps on the ground you can get as long as here so yeah that's probably gonna be very hard for most of you but i still recommend trying because it can save a lot of time if you can get the trick uh, here you just want to push the boxes like this nothing nothing special uh, on this box jump over and do it like that and for the last platform the way you can save like half a second maybe is dash over it so you can get in front of the gate instantly that's pretty great yeah and then just enter uh, here just go to the level like normal I'll go down here you want to grab this chest and how you want to do it is press dash and when the, like during the dash just open the chest pretty easy you wanna grab those 10 coins for the future and yeah I failed the cycle here but basically these traps are going on the same cycle from the beginning of the level so it doesn't matter how fast you get there you can't get through if you don't do it in this one trick and there you can skip the elevator if you are fast enough. Here you have your next trick that's also pretty easy and pretty minimal. 
uh, you have the target bolt there, which you want to shoot. Basically, you can also hit it with a melee weapon, but how you want to do it is come here, double jump, and then shoot with your bow. Now, normally, if you shoot with your bow, like come here, it will take some time for you to fall down. But if you do it, like, pair a dash with it, right after, then you can be much faster. Yeah. As you saw, it didn't take me a second to fall down, but I got down it almost instantly. So come here, do it like that. Easy. Nothing. Nothing special again. Here is the shop, and these are inputs you want to try to memorize. So it will be much easier for you and you don't need to use your mouse or anything you can just press arrows or use your controller only uh, you can get quite fast with him but yeah nothing special uh sell everything and now you have 40 coins so you can buy the axe this will make that boss fight much easier on the speedrun next level what you want to do is spam dash right as you go through you want to get through the strap and the fact is that sometimes you die you can't get through all this it's a bit of rng or frame perfect like timing or something but yeah and if you get here as fast as possible you can get through before this closes but if you fail you can still do it like that time it and you don't really spend any time like you maybe lose half a second to one second nothing nothing major on the auto scroll uh, there are a couple tricks we have found that possibly could be used but we're not gonna go through those because they are still very exper experimental and i can really even replicate them most of the time so yeah uh you want to come here push the barrel to the wall and then jump here this way you see you launch the barrel for some distance and when you're pushing the barrel you want to light it before it comes to the gate and then you can save a second there uh, for the other scroll you you just go through it's it's the same speed i always as long as you don't die so yeah just don't die You can go on the right side of the screen, but I really wouldn't recommend it since it just risks, risks you dying. And something you want to do is memorize all the falling things and stuff that might get you killed. So you can easily beat the level. Most of these just don't kill you if you're like further back enough. If you go on the right side of the screen, you will most likely die all the time. And yeah, you don't really gain any time from it since it's an auto scroll. You always go the same speed. So yeah. When you get to this level, something you can do is evade the fish. As normally you have to kill them and that takes a couple of seconds. Maybe you take some damage and stuff like that and we don't want to risk anything so you can just on the first one you can just swim on top of it basically and you skip it and for the second fish you go under it and when you're in water you just want to spam dash as always yeah that's like the basic principle of movement in all of them when you get here something you are going to do is the two box trick uh, well for the some reason the skeleton is frozen that's pretty weird but what you, what you most likely want to do is kill it with the lantern so you don't risk taking any damage uh, you don't have to do that if you're full HP but if you're taking damage then you would just die here when he hits you and yeah that's not nice but with the lantern you can just come from the right punch it in air and insta kill him so it really doesn't waste any time 
normally what you do is just push the three boxes on the platform but what you can actually do is press ac activate and instantly dash like right under the box it's much faster to run with the box than push it and you can get it fast on on spot then you want to have a second dash here but this second box is much more important than the first one so do the same trick and then when you get here if you are very good you can just try it from your head but it's quite hard so you want to push it like that and do it so they're like right next to each other because if you do it correctly then you just need two boxes i don't really know how it works or anything but if you have two boxes that are right next to each other then the gate already opens and you don't need a third one so that's quite something on the last level right when you get here you just wanna load from last checkpoint so you can basically skip the cutscene thing or whatever comes normally and that's going to save you a lot of time something we are going to go through here now is quick attacking since that's how you're going to kill the boss much faster than normally normally you attack with three attacks like that and that's pretty slow but what we are going to do is spam jump and attack at the same time and it helps if you have the 30 fps to do this so i really would recommend it and it, it's it's just spam attack and jump nothing special it's pretty hard to get the timing right if you're not used to it and i'm clearly not used to it here and my time isn't either but if you can do it well you can kill the boss in like under 15 seconds like i did in my speed room so you can check it here check it there i mean uh, for the boss fight you just wanna come to the boss face and quick attack him to death you wanna ignore the skeleton minions as you can just do it by quick attacking and you wanna try to avoid his attacks because if you die here then you're gonna waste a lot of time and like that what you want to do is kill him on the right side of the arena so you can get out as quickly as possible like I just did pretty easy and then you just come here in the end and yeah run spam through this shot locks and that's pretty much it <laughs> when you get to the end remember don't like quit before you have the end screen since it will show you on time and right here you can see i did in 14 minutes and that was a tutorial so yeah quite bad but for your first time if you get 14 minutes that's that's pretty good so yeah that's pretty much it thank you if you watched and if you have any questions put it down in comments and ask me in discord or anything see ya